In this video we are going to be building a super portable and precise Bluetooth controlled laser engraver by reinventing how these machines work to make it simpler, cheaper and smaller than any other one you have ever seen. Laser engravers are normally built using linear axes to move the laser head, but theoretically you could instead use two rotational axes to rotate the laser and get the same result, but with a much smaller and simpler machine. This brings some other issues related mainly to distortion of the image, but we'll sort them out after we built it. We can start by mounting the 500mW laser module to the main body, using 4 and 3 bolts. Once that is done, a bearing can be inserted in this hole to provide smooth and precise motion to the machine. After that we can insert this quite strange looking 3D printed part inside the bearing, and we can complete the Y-axis by mounting a 28BYJ48 stepper motor on the opposite side. Another one of these motors can be used to rotate the X-axis by mounting it in place using two self-tapping screws. Once it's secured in place, we can press this 3D printed part on its shaft, and we can complete the mechanism by gluing a small mirror on it, so that the light from the laser can be redirected where it's needed. Now that the engraver is finished, we need to build a structure to hold it above the workpiece. This can be achieved by cutting four lengths of aluminum rods, which uh, using some 3D printed parts can be assembled to form a small tripod, to which the engraver can be mounted using another plastic piece that I've previously glued to it. Now that the engraver is built and ready to go, we need to find a way to control it. For that purpose I decided to use an Arduino Uno paired with a Gerbil CNC shield. Because of that the two stepper motors need to be modified to be bipolar, but that can be easily achieved by following the guide I linked below. To control the laser, a relay is the ideal choice, because it will allow to easily turn on and off the laser regardless of its power. With that sorted, everything can be connected using wires, so that the circuit can be tested before designing and or a custom PCB from PCBWay. I was glad to see that everything worked straight away, but uh, unfortunately I noticed that the motors didn't have enough resolution to make smooth lines in the workpiece. In fact, for this machine to work properly I had to set the steps per millimeter to only 10, whereas normally they're set to a much higher value of about 250, and in fact the difference is quite noticeable when compared to an engraving made on my CNC machine. To solve that I initially experimented with pulleys, but uh, due to reliability issues, I settled on using 3D printed gears for driving the axis. To my surprise, this setup worked wonderfully, making really precise engravings nearly undistinguishable from the ones I made using my CNC machine. With the precision I was getting with this machine, I started to see a really big potential in this project, which turned from a cool experiment to something I would actually use very often. Because of that, I wanted to make it even better by adding Bluetooth control to it, thus making it even more reliable and easy to use with just a smartphone. With the electronics working we can now design a custom PCB which can be ordered for cheap from PCBWay. When the PCB arrives after a few days, all the components can be soldered to it. We can start by soldering the Bluetooth module in place. The Arduino Nano can then be soldered on the opposite side, together with a step-up voltage converter which is needed in order to power the 12V motor from a 5V power bank, to which the whole PCB can be plugged into via USB connector soldered on its side making this machine fully portable and wireless. Before attaching the voltage regulator, the two stepper drivers have to be soldered in place, together with the needed resistor. After soldering the last necessary components in place, the laser and the motor's wires can be routed into a heat shrink tubing and connected to the board in the necessary location, to finally complete this awesome machine.